Hey guys, what's going on? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. I'm out milling around my barn today and I'm gonna light the first barrel stove fire of the season. It's about 46 degrees and rainy, so it's not terribly cold, but I wanna make sure I don't have any blockages in my flue and make sure everything's in working order for the days that when it is 15 degrees out here, I really need it. I did also have someone comment on the barrel stove video I made a while back that said, hey, would you just show us building a big fire in it and what that's like? So sure, here we go. And if you watch that video of mine and set your barrel stove up like this, you do want to open up that clean out there at the bottom. I just popped mine and had a few dead bees in it. No big deal. But you want to make sure that's clean and clear. Uh, Chris actually had a bird in his, so yeah, probably wise to check that out. I apologize for the utter mess and chaos that this barn is. You guys can just drink this in real quick. I'm going to use some scrap lumber from the house to get this thing going. I don't have any split wood over here yet. That's actually kind of wet too, so this should be fun to get this thing going. And I think all I have out here is probably wet cardboard. But here's the barrel stove. I haven't touched it in a year, or close to a year. And there is a dead bird right there. Isn't that fun? Pushed him to the back there for cremation. Uh, what else though? Just kind of make sure the flue is open and working. There's no blockages there. Beyond that, there's not much else to really check. Unless you have a nest or blockage way up there, but can't do much about that except burn it out. So, see if we can't get a fire going here. I often laugh at myself in these videos when I go back to edit them and some of the phrasing I use, like right there. See if I can't get a fire going. Like I've not built thousands of fires out here before. There's always cardboard in the truck. Get your soaked cardboard out of the barn. Found a lighter. This is probably the most I've ever prepared a fire in here. Usually I just like light cardboard and start tossing stuff in. Actually, I just had a great thought. Maybe this will be Indie Farm Life Yule Log for your Christmas this year. Would anybody watch that if I literally made an Indie Farm Life Yule Log? Just videoed this for like an hour and a half straight. Well, the barn is not filling full of smoke, so that's a good sign. Let's go outside and check. I already have an efficient fire. There's no smoke coming out of there. The only problem with an efficient fire and little to no smoke coming out of there is I don't know how Nick is going to see that and know that I'm over here to bring me cold ones. That could be a problem. I have to find some wet leaves or something. So we've already got really good heat coming off of this. As you can see, the flue is in the optimal section here. 450 going on 500 degrees. The problem though is we don't have a hot coal bed yet. And if I close that door, this thing would uh, peter out pretty quick. Here, let's give it a try. It's gonna make a liar out of me. It wouldn't stay hot for significantly long because there's not a coal bed down there. So that's really the key is get a hot coal bed. Then you can start throwing logs or in this case, some scrap two by tens into the barrel and they'll burn a little slower and stay hot for a long time. When you have it wide open like that, it'll just cook through the wood. Puts off a ton of heat though. And yeah, it's still raging in there. Stuff's good and dry. But as soon as I open that door, this thing will overclock. If you guys know me by now, you know that I've definitely had it north of that 800 number there before. Not the best for the steel. It keeps you warm though. So this has been out in this barn for a year or so, year and a half maybe. These things are awesome. If you have wood around to burn, this is definitely the way to go to heat your barn, shop, garage, whatever. 150,000 BTUs, you're not buying propane tanks. Plus, I just love the smell of fire. The only problem with building a fire when I come out here to do things is that I'm such a fire bug that this sometimes consumes my afternoon. I'll be home for Christmas. All right, we'll let that catch up to the wet wood for a minute, and then I'll go do some stuff and close the door. 
So it's been about an hour. I was out doing stuff on the tractor. Let's see what it looks like in here. Yep, still hot. Uh, up here on the gauge, I'm gonna flew about 200 degrees. Still putting off quite a bit of heat, but it's burning down nice. Let's make this thing rage. I'm gonna burn that in half. Hey, look, some actual uh, logs to burn as opposed to just lumber. That is really expensive. Ooh, this one's wet. You would think the way I'm putting my arm in here that this isn't hot. Last year I was out here and it was snowing and my sweatshirt was completely soaked with water and I happened to bump the side of it against that thing and it burned me through my sweatshirt. Probably time to close the door. But silly me has a stick in there that's on fire and sticking out so I can't. But uh, yeah, we're up there in heat. Dang, it's hot next to this thing too. We'll just half close it for now. Honestly, this thing may have been burned through already. It's close. Oh yeah. Yeah, was this. That's how you burn down my barn. Look at that little guy. This thing's like, sounds like a tornado. It's making its own wind. All right, let's close this door up. Once I get it situated. It's a little warm. I venture to say we may have some fire up in our flue here. The amount of heat out of this corner right now is pretty ridiculous. So not even 10 minutes with that door closed and we're back into a optimal zone or close to an optimal zone on heat. It probably needs a little bit more air than that to maintain that temperature. And typically what I do is I'll just take one of these bungs out. It does have a slide down here at the bottom. I found that that gets clogged with ash and stuff given where the location of it is so I often just open up one of these two little bungs and just the big bung open does a nice job of keeping this at a good temperature and watch when you open this door you can see instantly how the fire will come back to life science like I said it's not very cold out today but I am sweating in this barn with this thing going and as I documented in other videos my barn is uh, one big air gap really if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you need me, I'll probably be here tending to this fire that I don't need. Sweating and not getting anything done for the rest of the afternoon. Firebug. See you guys next Tuesday at 9.